dear colleagues and friends of the Macau Ritchie Institute, uh, dear Reverend uh, Stephen Morgan, our rector of the University of St. Joseph in Macau. It's really a great pleasure to welcome you warmly and especially uh, our honored speakers, uh, Professor Liam Giron from University of Oxford and uh, Dr. Bernard Lee. It has been many years that I had the privilege to work with Bernard Lee on a number of different projects, contemplation, leadership, uh, higher education. So I really am very pleased that with today's forum, we could continue on an important focus of the research of the Macau Rich Institute, which organized conferences and forums since 2009 on this topic of higher education, and especially this focus on, as the former uh, Father General of the Jesuits, Father Pedro Arupe put it, to design education that our students will become men and women for others. So I found therefore the research of Dr. Bernard Lee under the supervision of Professor Liam Giron, extremely relevant, who had undertaken a number of interviews uh, in Asian Jesuit institutions of higher learning. So without further ado, uh, I would like to give over to Dr. Bernard Lee. Bernard, can you uh, start, please? Yeah. Sure. Uh, first of all, thank you so much for Father Steph uh, Stefan's introduction. It's been my honor to have this opportunity to present and share um, our paper with um, all of you. Um, so this evening we are going to present a topic called the goal of Jesuit higher education on becoming men and women for others in the Asian context, ideal and reality. As a matter of fact, for this topic it's been you know, similar to my thesis content. And I found that you know, some of the interesting issues we'd like to share with all of you this evening. In my abstract, um, I would like to give you a nutshell on my study. I found that the, you know, the Jesuits are really brilliant in the, you know, some 500 years of history. The mission, you know, of course for Jesuits is to place emphasis on forming people for others. What does it mean? Now, my understanding is you try to groom the next generation, especially the youngsters, to have the right you know, knowledge, of course, um, they pick up the talents and, well, teach them how can they serve in the society in return. Similarly, for um, uh, Cardinal John Henry Newman has written a book, uh, which is so famous, called The Idea of a University. Talk about a university should aim at creating a true community. Of course, some um, of them talk about academia and students so that um, uh, each one of them can interact and learn from each other in this environment. I also argue that um, Newman's ideal uh, aims of a university <clears throat> have been achieved by most you know, uh, Jesuit universities regarding universal knowledge and liberal education. On the contrary, the unique goal of Jesuit higher education on becoming men and women for others in Asian context is essential, but it's not recommended by Newman. Now, after collecting you know, data um, from 30 interviews in Asia across four um, universities, um, I found you know, some commonalities in these interviews. Um, three of them I would like to share with you, and they are, of course, some are very you know, important and you know, it's so the inspiring to me. Um, all of them are related to the, you know, to attaining the goal of becoming men and women for others. The first one is about the commitment from the top level of management. No matter they are Jesuit or non-Jesuit leaders. Okay. Um, one of the respondents 
Fabian. All these names are anonymized. <clears throat> I want to remind you. And uh, Fabian believed that Ignatian spirituality is a commitment of the top management of his Jesuit university. If you do not teach Ignatius spirituality or the original Christian humanism, well, it's very difficult to find another person to teach it. So usually for the leader, i.e. the president or the vice president, they will teach you know, a couple of courses related to this Ignatian spirituality, or in some countries, they call it Christian humanism. Another way to, you know, to demonstrate their commitment is about the sermon. Now, the sermon is not just about you know, preaching or lecturing in the lecture hall, but rather they're sharing their life with others. They understand God is, you know, can be founded in everything, anything. So that's my understanding. Well, they try, try to share you know, their reflection and also the dialogue with God to others. Without this kind of you know, experience, it's very difficult for you to have the genuine sermon. Um, Hutton said, you know, I think the greatest responsibility of the president is the sermon. And the sermon in that sense, then giving, then saving people working every day in the daily fight, we tend to forget big things. And we want more students, we want more money, we want to have a higher level for the university. Something is very fundamental, it's about our daily life. The second important or crucial issue is related to the intention. And they reminded me something is even more you know, important in the long run, it's about the structured Jesuit program. If you want to teach, you need to have a plan. A Jesuit program, i.e. Ignatian spirituality program for all students. One university said they have this kind of one year program, a committed program for the students. They will go down to the village <clears throat> with a purpose to serve you know, the minority or the marginalized with the guidance of their teacher or tutor. Um, periodically, they will receive you know, um, this kind of guidance, and also they need to write a um, uh, reflection report. Casia appreciated that the university has relevant and professional professors to teach religion and spirituality. Now, here are some reflections. It was by the priest professor. Okay, so I think compared to other university, our school students have some good opportunity to have some close distance to spirituality or other things. Also, we are a very small school in the country. So we have the main, main major, not that the specific major, but one specific thing was we have the religion major. Well, some of the things, you know, is about the reflection and the growth of the student. And at the end of the day, they will become a mature person. And that's about the, you know, the aim of the university um, promoted by the Jesuit University. Another thing related to the structured Jesuit program is about the faculty day. Xavier, another respondent, found the university has a faculty day every semester to allow president to explain a nation spirituality to the faculty members. Um, one of them said, I mean, many of our formation programs, brackets for students are geared around orienting people to a nation spirituality and personal formation. So I think especially the last president of her often would talk about it when he would address the faculty. So on the first day of every semester at the first day, but usually at the end of the first or second week of every semester, we have what's called it faculty day. So we bring all that the university, at least the college level faculty together. There are usually discussions and different things or topics or issues that depend on a lot of things. But usually one side of that is a president's address from the president. And like um, our last person, we'll often talk about issues that were happening, but always trying to bring some components of what it seems to be Jesuit, what it means to be Ignatian spirituality. On top of this, they also have the dialogue between the president, leader, and the faculty. They can talk anything. 
any feedback can be received. Yeah, and the faculty member, I'm sorry, I'm talking about the leader. They would like you to you know, listen very carefully to that faculty member. The last issue, well, last but not least, spiritual leader. I understand because of the this kind of you know decreasing number of Jesuit you know worldwide. Um, but this is you know really really important for us to think about. According to the memory of um, Nahum, the president was the spiritual leader of the university, and I argue that this has been the distinctive element of a Jesuit university and the tangible identity of a Jesuit university. Now he said. He's our spiritual leader as far well as an educate, educational leader in setting up the goal and then also implementing the means for carrying out the role for a certain set period during which he serves for the international community at the university. And that's how he's perceived to play a role there. And then usually he's a Jesuit faculty member, so he's supposed to be a spiritual leader. So that's the role that he feels in that capacity. Now, I, I'm impressed, yeah, but, uh, with you know a lot of this kind of faculty members reflection. Um, they always you know have this kind of good impression on the leader, especially Jesuit leader. Another one said also mentioned about this, you know, um, I've been for a short time uh, also vice president for student affairs. This is about the leader, you know, himself. So giving support to all the students and making looks and no, you know, separation between Catholics non-Catholics, questions, non-Christians, religious and non-religious, and trying to give them an aim in their life. I think it's something, you know, if you don't really have, you know, the meaning in your life, it's very difficult to share. And, but this is the core of the Jesuit education, is the core of their, you know, the purpose of their existence. One thing we always, you know, hear from Jesuits or Jesuit members is about discernment. Decision making is spiritually grounded. Um, Caller pointed out that the president made a decision based on a nation's spirituality, and the results are more spiritually grounded. It's not just about spirit, well, uh, a decision, right? Academic decision. It's always, you know, see whether God, you know, can give us, you know, some advice, and whether we have the reflection, you know, on God's presence. And uh, Kola also mentioned um, uh, that was the time when we had a lot of people who were against it. But when the president wanted to do something else, so he made very well thought statements that were spiritually granted, compassionate, um, prophetic, without being uh, antagonizing like that. And then he identified the priorities for projects and for research and would prioritize. And you can see that, you know, because of, you know, the, I mean, the, the, the leader, you know, walk their talks. And always, you know, in different situation, yeah, they would like to let you know how can they think. Okay, not not about you know this kind of double standard or you know dual values. Yeah, in different cases, no, they're using the same ruler. For a spiritual leader, they also align with the universal um, goal of Jesuit community, universal apostolic preferences. Another respondent. Um, or highlighted that the mandates of Jesuit Universal Apostolic Preferences, UAP, is highly valued by the Society of Jesus, of course, putting Ignatian spirituality and spiritual exercise as one of the top priorities missionary work. Of course, among, well, <clears throat> for one of the four major objectives of a UAP is about spirituality. And of course, um, uh, well, getting along with the youngster is so important. That's why um, it's been shown here, showing the way to God, walking with the excluded, generating with youth and caring for our common home. These are the four major objectives of UAP. The private university, as I mentioned to you, um, specified moral, intellectual, spiritual. Obviously, public university do not have that spiritual dimension. Um, we just considered in our search for the presidency. Now, Sadi actually, um, she taught at the National University of his, of, you know, her country. And when she compared the Jesuit University, which is a private university, with the National University, something is lacking. Something is lacking. 
most of the time is about the, the morality, about the intellect, well, integrity, and mo most importantly, it's about the spirituality. Thank you so much yeah, for your attention. Um, this is pretty much regarding my uh, preliminary findings and also my sharings. And well, the next section is about Q&A. Um, my supervisor, Professor, you know, um, Giron, um, can answer, you know, any questions from you. Yeah, you are, you know, free to ask questions. Yeah, maybe you can type it in the box. Yeah, okay, thank you so much.